Hi, this is uh, a small video tutorial about using MS charts. Uh, MS charts are essentially contained in um, OCX that is installed usually when you install Microsoft Office. It is located in your System32 folder, C Windows System32. Its name is MS Chart 20.OCX. Uh, in visualstudio.net if you want to try using that I'm going to make a new form in case you don't have it so you can include it in your project um, in case you don't have it I'm I already included it in the download uh, WinRAR I'm going to provide the link in the site links for the project. Uh, it says you need to copy the OCSX to your WinSave32 directory, then start press run and type RHSVR32 and type the path for it so you can register the OCX before using it. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have the OCX registered. Here's the new form, which is called Form 2. I'm going to jump to Form 2. And you right click on the toolbox, you press Choose Items. You choose COM components. Make sure to sort by name. Go down to Microsoft Chart Control 6.0. See, it gives you the path for the OCX. You check it, I already have it in my toolbox, and you press OK. And then you can see it down here. You just click on it, place it on your form, and you're halfway to go. I'm going to cancel that because I already have it. And I'm going to show you the three examples that are prepared for you that are going to be available to download from the side description for the video. The first idea is how to format the chart. You change the title, the legend, the footnote, the plot. I, I also provided you with comments so you can know what I'm talking about. Uh, the second button, it fills the chart with sample data that I have put there. It's static. It's just an example so you can see how it works. I made four columns with a small type of sample data. The third idea is filling your chart from the database. I made a database called Example and uh, I made a table called Purchase that has two it has two um, fields. One is for date, the other one is for uh, how much you purchased. I'm going to read those records and place them on the chart. I'm going to run the project and show you exactly what I'm talking about. The idea is easy. The main thing uh, f for how to give parameters uh, to the chart is using the dot data parameter. And you get it from the data reader and give it to the data how it works. Okay, I'm going to try formatting. See how it changed everything. You can check each characteristic and method as a standalone. 
Now I'm going to try to fill the chart with sample data. Here's the sample data. And I'm going to fill the chart with values get from the DV. Here you have it. I hope you can benefit from this video. And thank you.